Hi, I'm Ben with Eagle Optics, and today I'm going to talk about magnification and how binoculars power will impact your experience when using it. For the purpose of this video, we'll use the terms power and magnification interchangeably. Before we get started, let's take a quick tour of the binocular. At the front of the binocular, you have the objective lens, and that's the lens that collects information, which makes its way to the ocular lens. This is the lens that does the magnification and will be the focus of our attention today. When considering a binocular magnification, it's important to note the physical dimensions of the binocular have nothing to do with its magnification. Here are four binoculars, all of different sizes, but they all have the same magnification, in this case, eight power. A binocular will often, but not always, have its magnification indicated on the focus wheel. This binocular is an eight by 42, with that first number referring to the binocular's magnification. This means you're seeing the object eight times closer than you would with the unaided eye. The second number, the 42, refers to the size of the objective lens. Let's see what the magnification does. This is how you'd see a bird at zero magnification, or how you'd see it with the naked eye. You can see a wide field of view and a lot of things around it, like that tree to the right and that birdhouse to the left. Let's look at this same bird with eight power binoculars. Notice the field of view is a bit narrower. You can no longer see the tree to the right, but at eight power you can still see the birdhouse. Let's see what it would look like if we increase the magnification again. Here we are at 10 power, and although you can see the bird even closer, you can no longer see the tree or the birdhouse. So remember that when you increase the power of a pair of binoculars, your field of view is going to decrease. Although you can see it closer, a higher power binocular will have a more restrictive field of view. You may want to keep that in mind when you're looking for binoculars for bird watching or spectator sports, where a wider field of view is really helpful. Another thing to consider as you increase magnification is how it impacts image stability. As you increase the binocular's power, any movement of your upper body is going to be magnified. For example, with a lower magnification, if the binocular isn't perfectly steady, you may see some bounciness of the image. Let's see what happens if we add more power. At a higher power, that same instability is magnified along with the rest of the image and produces a more pronounced movement. This is something to consider as you look at binoculars with higher magnification, you're going to need to hold them steady. You may even want to consider tripod mounting them. I hope this helped you understand a little bit more about how magnification works and choosing binoculars that work best for you. And as a general rule of thumb, lower power binoculars are more user friendly. Bird watchers and spectators like wide field of view and eight power binoculars, whereas some hunters prefer to get closer to their game and use 10 power binoculars. If you have questions about binoculars, what magnification is, visit our website eagleoptics.com or give our friendly sales staff a call.